Hello everyone, welcome back. Oh, all glory be to God, we are together once again. I hope we all are doing well and blessed in the Lord. And I have some exciting news to share. I received a word from the Lord and it was literally from my lips, but I, it was, it was unconscious. I didn't manifest thought. The words just came out and I believe it's a blessing from the Lord and it's so interesting because how everything had kind of unfolded to make it all make sense and I even prayed for um, I prayed for the Lord to reveal to me I'm trying to use the exact words from my prayer I prayed to the Lord to reveal to me that this was from him for you all the body and children of God to let us know the season that we are in not just a blanket but more specific and I believe the answer came through and and <laughs> it's interesting I, I I'll do my best to um, get through this as, as smoothly as I can but I'm very excited okay let's get to it Okay, so what you're seeing is uh, a receipt that I got from um, going to the ATM to get uh, money out of the machine. It was just a regular receipt, and you can see I scratched out the emblem um, on the receipt. So it was just a regular receipt when I saw it. I mean, I scratched it out after this. But you see at the top, there's some sort of weird shape at the top. Okay, sorry, trying to get the light right. Okay, so this is what's on the back of it, this check mark. And um, let me back up a little bit. I was doing uh, my shredding, and I had gone to the ATM, and I got this receipt, and it looked fine. And it's one of those ones, I think, that prints from heat from the machine. So everything was white and clean and, you know, just fine when it came out of the machine. I folded it up and put it in my pocket and when I got home I was ready to shred and normally I just open things up and put it in the shredder because I know it's trash and needs to go but the Lord pressed on to me to unfold everything and carefully put everything into the machine and that's what I did it was like automatic I said okay so I started opening up everything and slowly putting it in and then this one popped into my view and I was like what is this weird shape and I'm looking at it, and I'm like, that wasn't there before, and what's going on? And I was like, I wonder if there's something on the back. And I flipped it over, and it was that check mark. And that was even weirder. So if you have any ideas what the check mark is, let me know in the comments, please. But the check mark on the other side is dark, and on this side, it came out light. So I'm looking at it, and I'm going, what is this? And if you can see, I don't know if I can get closer. But the light, sorry, I'm, I'm really shaky, sorry, um, it won't. But the, the actually, if you see, let me see, sorry about that, sorry. Um, see if it'll focus a little better. But you see there's actual color. It's kind of a pinky, peachy hue on the bottom part, part here. So I'm looking at this, uh, sorry, my focus, okay. So, so I'm looking at this going, what is this and what's going on? And, um, it, and then it kind of has like little pink, and I'm like, is that feet? And I'm like, well, it, it kind of looks like a bird, maybe. Those are wings at the bottom, and maybe like tail feathers. You know, why, why does this look like a bird? In my mind, I'm, I'm thinking this in my mind. I'm, I'm not talking to myself. <laughs> but I'm thinking this all in my mind. Like, this kind of looks like a bird. And then all of a sudden, out of my mouth comes, let's see if I can get it right, we fly soon. I said that. The words just poured out of my mouth. Uh, and I, I, praise God, I, I don't believe those are my words because I'm still questioning in my mind, what am I seeing? And why do the feet, I say, question mark, have like a pinky hue? So I thought, wow, this is really weird. Um, 
Uh, so I, I, I set it aside and I said, thank you, Lord. Okay, I guess we're going to fly soon. And I started getting excited. I feel an excitement in me. Like, we fly soon. I see this bird. I'm like, yes, we fly soon. This is so beautiful. So I set it aside. Didn't shred it, obviously. <laughs> no, no. And I set it aside. Well, I, I, this was, oh, I'm sorry. Today is Monday, April 25th, 2019. And this happened um, Friday, because that's when I cleaned out my bag. Friday, I think that is, or was, sorry, um, so today's 15, 14, 13, uh, 12th, uh, Friday the 12th this was, and I was like, okay, this is so strange, and um, I believe um, this was the Palm Sunday uh, yesterday, the 14th was Palm Sunday. So I'm like, okay, this is great. So I just set it aside. Then I prayed and I said, can you please give me confirmation? Can you let me know this is from you and this is to share? And and is this a part of what season we are in? Um, you know, a prayer like that. So I went to bed and look at the sign he gave me. Okay, so this is a photograph I took of my bedroom door. So let me take go back. I was in bed. Uh, this was Sunday morning, and we had a busy. Uh, sorry, uh, we had a busy day ahead. Um, my daughter had a couple of activities. It was going to be all day, and so I took a few minutes and laid in bed. Then I realized, as I was laying in bed, I always close my bedroom door. I don't keep it open. Sorry, I'm moving it up. Okay, and uh, sorry, I'm, uh, I'm gonna move quicker. So I'm, I'm when I'm waking up, I realize my bedroom door is open, and then I realize I'm looking at a light reflecting, reflecting off my bedroom door. So I'm like, why am I seeing a light on? And I, I'm waking up, so my mind is clearing up, and I'm like, oh, my daughter must have woke up to check up on me. Came into my room, opened the door, saw that I was still sleeping, left the light on in the bathroom and uh, left she must be playing with the toys or something so I'm like okay no you know just and then I kind of relaxed again but then I noticed this shadow okay um, let me see sorry I'm moving it uh, but it, it's so I think it's two hands shaking now I know this is kind of uh, far-fetched and so I'll kind of use a pointer um, well, not really a pointer, but uh, this is what I'm using. <laughs> okay, so this here, I think is like an arm or a shoulder. You know, let me get to the actual picture. Okay, so here's the actual picture I took. The other one was um, a collage picture to show the handshaking. Okay, so here is what I think is like a shoulder. And then this is like the arm. And they have a narrow wrist. And then the brown is one hand here and then if you see it almost looks like knuckles and then if you come around it's lighter here it almost made me look think of like the fingers of this hand and if you see it's lighter here so it's like t like this one's in the sun and this was kind of shadowed or this is a shadow and this is the sun but it was so you see like this is like maybe the wrist or the other part of the hand and maybe maybe a thumb coming down um, like a thumb coming down here and then this is their wrist and then this to me kind of look like a robe or a wide uh, shouldered shirt or something so yeah I was waking up, <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know. And then, and then this is the the rest of their clothing or their body here, the shape. But that's what I was seeing. Now, if I, sh I'm going to show you what the actual shape is, and you won't believe me. <laughs> I, well, I hope you do. That's why I kind of giggled. I hope you do believe me. So when I'm looking at this, and also the item, it must. Maybe the window is open uh, in the bathroom. Yes, I think the window was open, but it was moving a little bit. I should have done video. 
I knew I was thinking I should have done video at the time, but it was kind of moving a little bit. So it was almost like the hands were shaking. That's what made me think of hands shaking, I think, because it was moving just a little bit like hands shaking. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Maybe this is the confirmation I was looking for. Now, uh, let's go back to the collage I made. Okay, so this is, see, these are the fingers here and kind of maybe fingers that curled up over the hand and then see how the there's digits you can see folded and it kind of looks like digits folded and then see how this wrist is kind of thin here and there's a thin wrist here uh, let's see I think I have another one okay and then here it's a thicker wrist here and it's a thicker wrist here and then maybe this is clothing here and then this could be like a jacket or or something clothing here but it was just kind of what my mind did and then let me um, show you I kind of outlined it okay so this was my outline of what I thought I was seeing now true when I show you what it what it is you are gonna fall out of your seat <laughs> so hold on to the armrest you you're gonna be shocked okay so their arm or shoulder here and then their jacket or so here and then a wrist here I didn't draw the fingers because I forgot but the fingers should be here and then these are like the knuckle fingers here I should have gone in a little more I'm not an artist I apologize I did my best and then this is maybe the thumb in the other hand and then this is like the robe so that's kind of what I was seeing so and the, you know and then the, the rest of the clothing there so it was it, it, to me it just felt like a beautiful blessing and let me show you what it actually is okay <laughs> you know I love you guys and I would never lie to you <laughs> I I promise you this is what it is I didn't take a picture of it because it's like duct tape and you know it's it's like been repaired and and it's you know it's hanging in my my uh it, Next to my bedroom is the laundry room and then the bathroom, so it's in between. It's not really a laundry room, it's just we have stackables. And um, this is the dryer vent. I promise you, that picture, I'll go back to it again in a sec. That picture is this, outstretched. It's a dryer vent hose. That's what that is. And you see the shape, um, it's like going downwards it the dryers on top so it goes it stretches out you know to the vent so it's long like this <laughs> so I mean and I it, it otherwise I mean this is there's no breaks in it it's all one solid piece it there's no it's it's a dryer hose you can't have any holes in a dryer hose or you'll have hot air and lint and stuff so it's it's one solid piece but this isn't a solid piece and it's all different shapes this was my answer I believe now I, I would love your opinion and I won't take up your time on this but I just thought it was amazing oh oh I, one more thing to share so of course I went prone and prayed to God and thanked him for all this because I just, I, I, my heart was so full, and I was so excited. The, the original message with the little, I don't know what that is, bird on my receipt. But, hey, let's go back to the bird. Oh, well, uh, I don't want to waste your, I don't, not waste, I don't want to take up more of your time. But the bird on the receipt, he's not flying. His, his wings are down. In fact, his wings are down, and he has these pink little feet that kind of wide I looked at him and looked at him and he reminded me of something he reminded me of a penguin but white in front and dark in the back and this is dark and light but the same pink feet and little tail feather that symbol on my that check mark on my on the other side on my receipt reminded me of a penguin and I start praying Lord why are you showing me a penguin they don't fly but what you t what you said through me was we fly soon and I started 
praying. I said, Lord, I, I don't understand. And then I got it. We, you and I, we are human beings. We don't fly. Like we're not, our bodies aren't equipped to leave the ground on its own. We would, we need lift. We need something to break gravity, pull us away. Just like these, they can try to fly and they might get a little lift, but they can't get off the ground. They're flightless birds and we are flightless humans. And then I started to think just like Jesus is risen it's almost, we just had Palm Sunday and then Passover's on its way. Jesus is risen. He was, he was pulled, well, from hell. He was pulled whole to heaven. His father, our father, God, pulled him whole to heaven. Just like he's going to send his son, Jesus, He's going to call us from the clouds with a shout. And I believe that shout is what's going to break us. Either, either, uh, I know our physical bodies are going to go, but maybe that's what's going to break gravity. Or I don't know. I don't know the science of it. And I don't want to overthink it because it's a blessing. But we are the flightless birds. We are the penguins. And, and what's going to pull us is Jesus. Because his blood sacrifice was enough. He died on the cross. And it was enough. It was, it was what our salvation needed. We needed that. We needed Jesus to be the blood sacrifice lamb. And die for all of our sin. So that on that great day we can be shouted out of here. And pulled broken from this worldly gravity and pulled into the sky. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just so excited. Okay, I'm going to let you go. I've been trying to, by the way, I've been trying to make this message all day. Um, but little things have been coming up and I think it's, you know, I don't even want to give them that much credit. But I'm doing it now. I'm going to send it now. And I, I hope it's a blessing to you all. I have scripture from Psalms and then I'll let you go. Okay, Psalms 121. Lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let our foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going both now and and forevermore. Amen. So take this to the Lord. Please pray over this. The original word was we fly soon and I was given this image of a bird that just popped up out of nowhere. Well the Lord put that there not out of nowhere. So I don't want to uh, take away his his blessing. Amen. And then um, I got the, I prayed for confirmation the next morning. I see two hands shaking, and I believe that's the Lord taking our hand, maybe pulling us up. I, I just thought of that. Sorry, I'm excited. Amen? Um, from a shadow on my door. He uses all things. Whew. And uh, the penguin, the flightless bird, and we're flightless, and uh, mammals, people, humans. But we need Jesus to call us into the air with a shout. All right. Amen. I love you all. I'm going to let you go. Please take care. Pray over this. Take it to the Lord. If you have any comments or, or any ideas, uh, especially that check mark, because I, I still don't know what that means, um, please leave in the comments below. 
please take care and know that God loves you. He loves you more than anything. He wants you to be with him. And if you haven't made that sacrifice, you have I mean, if you haven't given yourself to the Lord and turned from your worldly ways and seek God's face, that's what he wants. He wants to be your first choice, your only choice. Make that choice today. May God bless you and keep you all in Jesus' name. Take care, and we'll talk soon. Bye for now.